Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss this example. So here we have a set n which is a subset of complex number and we have to represent it in a complex plane. So n is a set of complex number which satisfy that condition. Real part of z square is less than or equal to alpha. Okay, so let us start to discuss that condition first. So we have, so what we have real part of z square less than or equal to alpha. So what we do, we replace z by its uh, Cartesian form that is x plus i y. So let me write here. So therefore, real part of x plus i y square less than or equal to alpha. So you know well how to find a bracket square. a plus b bracket square formula, square of first plus square of second plus 2 first into second less than or equal to alpha. So therefore, real part of x square. So we know the value of i square is minus 1. So minus y square plus 2i xy less than or equal to alpha. But you can see here we are interested in just real part only since real part of this complex valued function getting. So its real part is x square minus y square. So therefore x square minus y square less than or equal to alpha. So therefore, uh, what will I do? I will replace inequality by equality to find the exact curve. So therefore, the region is bounded by is bounded by x square minus y square is equal to alpha. So this is equation of hyperbola. So let me mention a hyperbola. Hyperbola x square minus y square is equal to alpha. Basically the equation, standard equation of hyperbola is x square minus y square is equal to a square, right? But see what we have alpha. So you can declare alpha is a square of root alpha. That is x square minus y square is equal to root alpha square. So that's why we will have the hyperbola like this, which cuts uh, real axis uh, in points root alpha 0 and on this side you will have minus root alpha 0. So we will have hyperbolas like this. Okay, so we have hyperbolas like this. See what we have here. Uh, see actually we got a hyperbola, but see we have an inequality basically. So that means the region bounded by that hyperbola. So because of this hyperbola, the entire complex plane is divided in two parts interior part of hyperbola and exterior okay so this part and that part that will be the exterior part of hyperbola so here we have a less than or equal to so that's why you can say uh, the region bounded by these two hyperbola it's a single hyperbola two curves of hyperbola so we will have the region like this right so in this way we have represented the set n in a complex plane right so this is a required region so make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.